Welcome back everybody, it is Bulldog here and I've got something special for all of you new players who have been struggling facing Llama Kron. I get so many people that say, oh I know Llama Kron's coming. They're just spamming it down at bronze, spamming it at silver and I, I know it's coming and I still can't stop it. What can I do? Well, there are, there are a couple options but we're going to have a very effective option coming in three days with the release of Chaos. So we're gonna talk about that now, and technically, you can actually go run this right now. So it can be run with uh, like with Selenia as, as a summoner right now, giving you extra ranged. That's an expensive summoner. I know most of you don't have that, but we're gonna have a, we're gonna have some much cheaper options here, and Chaos is gonna bring a lot of things. One of it is this Void Armor plus Repair Llama Cron counter, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. But first off, we are in the middle of our 25 days of, give, of giveaways. Every day in December up until Christmas, we are doing some sort of giveaway. Today, we've got another Chaos Pack giveaway. Somebody in the comments is going to win a Chaos Pack. In order to enter, all you have to do, you have to be subscribed to the channel. So make sure you subscribe and you have to comment down below. I will choose a random winner from the comment section. So you guys have a chance to win a Chaos Pack. All right, on the Llama Kron here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna use Void Armor plus Repair to make sure that Kron can't get through us because void armor what void armor does is it makes magic hit armor okay they have to go through armor the same way range with the same way melee would when you're going up against a single omicron if you have if you have a repair and a void armor you're just going to keep repairing that armor kron's going to deal the damage take away the armor you're going to repair it kron's going to deal damage. You, you get the point right so then all you have to do is make sure you have enough damage to to to, to basically outlast kron's heal you have need because you don't want to go into fatigue, right? So you've got to be able to do enough damage, more damage than he's healing. So that's that's basically the overall strategy, and it's going to work very, very well. It's going to work best in the Death Splinter with um with our reflect. Let's go in here real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. Let's take a look at the battle. Here we go. What do we have? We have Alster up here. Gives reflect to everybody. It's not necessarily needed. None of these. I shouldn't say none of these, but these specific cards aren't necessarily needed. But this is just what I want to show. First off, shout out to shout out to Yasik for helping me set this team up so we could show it off. So what you've got here, you have Marrow's Ghost. Marrow's Ghost is one of the few cards that has void armor at base level. Yes, this is for base level. You can run this at novice. You don't have to level up your cards at all. Marrow's Ghost has void armor, and we now have a neutral card with repair at base level. Scav We've got our Scavo here who can be used to to go repair this armor. And then we just need enough damage. Oh, we've got Weirding Warrior over here who's going to give us Amplify, which is going to give us even more reflect damage coming back. So we're gonna have enough damage to to hit through Kron. So let's, uh, let's let him play here. And you can see exactly what's going on. So Kron gets his last stand. By the way, this is I've only got 17 mana on my other on on top here. You have to have at least 17 mana to to use Kron. So we can run this even at 17 mana. You see, we've got enough damage here, and then we get that repair. Every single turn we get that repair. Bronze healing back up, but guess what? He's getting four reflect. That's what Amplify does. Normally he'd be getting three reflect damage. Amplify gives us four. So we've got four reflect damage there. Five damage from Mero's Ghost, six from my little Snakey up there, seven, eight, nine total damage that we can do. Even if we get dodged a few times, doesn't necessarily matter. We just need to be doing seven damage per turn. So you can see we got a couple damage though. We just need to average seven damage per turn, and then we'll eventually get through Kron. And we've got more than enough to get through. So this works very well. And again, you could put different damage up damage dealers out there. You don't have to have Amplify necessarily because we've got enough without the Amplify, but that's what it is. We could survive until fatigue using that combination of Void Armor plus Repair. Let's go show it on the Life Splinter real quick now. We saw it there, we're gonna look at it at the Life Splinter because we've got another level one Void Armor and Chain Spinner. One of the few that also doesn't take a ton of mana. Here we've got 19 mana. And honestly, we may not have needed that much, but we've got a problem with this Spreading Fury. That's gonna make Kron a little faster, and it's gonna make him dodge even more. So when we're when we're thinking about how much damage we're dealing, remember we needed to be doing at least seven damage per turn, that we, we've got to count, account for the, those dodges there, right? 
So in order to get the extra damage, so we've got our we've got our repair with armor smith here, chain spinner. These are both available right now. We've added plus one ranged with our summoner. We've got a new chaos summoner with plus one ranged. Like I said, technically you could use Selenia here. That's a dragon summoner. As long as dragons were available to be played, you can see they are here. So you could use Selenia right now, and that would actually save you one mana. Plus, it would give you access to some more dragons like Onaga Assassin. That's a two mana ranged uh, ranged attacker. So you could you could do this right now, but it's going to get easier when Chaos is here because this is going to be a much cheaper summon. I mean, I'd have to believe that's going to be a much cheaper cheaper summoner than than Selenia. So and. Again, this is Armorsmith is an older card that'll fall out of modern format, but you can use your neutral repair card as long as you can can play neutrals. So we're gonna do the same the same thing. We'll go ahead and let it run because it's gonna it's gonna take a minute here. We'll do three times speed. But Lens Master, so we get two damage, four damage, seven damage, nine damage, and then Chain Spinner up there, eleven damage total. Eleven damage coming in. Now again, Kron's got five speed. We're I mean. With one speed here, that's a 40% dodge chance, 30% dodge chances, 20% dodge chances. So there's some fairly high dodge chances, but we've still got enough damage to even account for those those misses. You can say it takes takes a little while, and it can it can it can be frustrating sometimes. RNG can can play a role, but the bottom line is because we have this armor smith who can repair. We've got to repair, and we have void armor. Kron can't Kron can't defeat us by himself. The only way Kron can win this battle is if we go into Fatigue, where he can heal through Fatigue more than our, our monsters up top. Because, I mean, they're gonna... Everybody here is going to die in round two of Fatigue. So we can't go deep into Fatigue. But, as long as we're making some progress and we don't go to round 20, we'll win, we'll win the battle. So, you can see down to, down to one health there. About to finish it off. There it is. Kron is done. At base level, novice level, we are defeating Kron. Run. And that, that's kind of what, that's one of the hardest places to do it, is at lower levels with low mana. It's very, very difficult to to do there, as I screw that up again. Um, it's very, very difficult to, to do because, again, you have to be able to sustain, you have to be able to do more damage than Kron is healing for, while also having some way to stay alive long enough to do that damage. And at base level, you just don't have a lot of damage numbers out there. So it's hard to... It's, it's hard to really get through Kron without having a lot of mana, without having a lot of high level, level cards. And as you get, as you go up to, to silver, to gold, to diamond, it gets easier. As you get higher mana, it gets easier because you can get more cards out, on, out there, get more damage, maybe even have things like Sneak or something like that to, to defeat Kron before he even gets to that last same position if it's not just Kron starting out there. So it can, it can get more... It can get more complicated, and it's not like the great things about Splinterlands, as I've said before, is the rule sets change everything. So yeah, you can't just say, okay, this is something I can just run out every time, and Kron will never beat me. It depends. If you run up to like, well, we're trying to set this battle up. We ran into a Noxious Fumes. Well, Noxious Fumes this isn't gonna, isn't gonna work in Noxious Fumes, right? Because the Noxious Fumes are gonna kill off all my low health attackers up there, and we're gonna be gone. So. It's not something that can work every time, and as you get to different levels with different abilities, you can make adjustments, and, and there's all, all sorts of things you have to you have to consider. So, we can never just make guides that say, okay, throw this team out there, um, it's always going to win, or, or whatever the case is. Sometimes you'll have only odds or only evens, so you have to find find different things. So, unfortunately, it's not as simple as saying, okay, if somebody's playing Lomacron, you can just always lay this down and you're going to win. But here, this is this is a this is an option for you guys, and hopefully it's something that you can you can consider, and you can I mean you can even you can even use take take these concepts and adapt them. We're just saying void armor. Guess what? If you go up with a rule set where magic can't hit through armor, you have weak magic rule set. Now everybody's got void armor, so you can kind of do the same thing, even with even with other splinters or or other things. And as you again as you level up, you'll have more characters that have access to more abilities and be able to to make some more adjustments around the strategy to even make it more effective but it's just something that i wanted to show you guys because i get so many comments saying how do you counter llama cron in bronze how do you counter llama cron in silver it can't be done he is unbeatable and actually under some rule sets that's true he is 
uh, but not all the time. There are some counters out there, and this is one of them that's going to going to get a little bit of a boost once we get to chaos here in three days because we have a neutral repair coming. So that allows us to allows us to to use that with the death splinter. Right now, death doesn't have a neutral repair, or does, we don't have a repair in death at low mana at base level to be able to run this so that's going to change so anyways let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any luck with this once chaos comes out i look uh i look forward let me know what other lomicron counters that you have out there that that you like there again this is not necessarily the only one but this is one that i that i like pretty well at those at those lower levels lower mana battles and and i think it's uh it might gain some traction we'll see we will see or is lomicron even going to be as big in in chaos i don't know I don't know. We are going to we're going to have some more some more options with him. It's going to be interesting. I don't know. Chaos is going to be bring chaos. It's going to be absolutely nuts, and I cannot wait. Remember, I will be streaming live on Wednesday on December eighth at midnight. That's as soon as it comes out. You guys can go in game and look at the look at the countdown. Look at the counter. When that hits zero, I'm going to be streaming live on stream, opening up tons of packs. I've got 500 packs right now. I'm hoping to acquire more. But worst case scenario, we're going to be opening up 500 packs right when Chaos goes live. It's going to be insane. Make sure you guys come join me. Make sure you comment down below so you get a chance to win one of your Chaos, a Chaos pack of your own. I'll be seeing you guys then. Thanks a ton.